What is the real cost of HS2? Are 30 minutes saved worth spending more than £50 billion? Pounds? Are the same few minutes saved worth the carbon footprint and the environmental cost? Are you sure our country will receive the projected value of the HS2? Or will it just be another vain attempt to boost the economy, as with the HS1? <laughs>
101 people perish in 180 seconds. It's the worst high-speed train crash ever. Today, Deutsche Bahn has removed the duo-block wheel Type 064 from service and replaced them with traditional monoblock wheels. They maintain that the wheels and the inspections met the standards required at the time and that their engineers could not have predicted a wheel fracture. Between the cutting face, the conveyor belts, the pumps and lining equipment, there are lots of places where a worker could end up as worm food. The most frightening thing about a tunnel boring machine is being in front of it and ha hear somebody turn on a pump. Everything is so massive that you can't afford to make a mistake and move in the wrong direction at the wrong time. There's, there's no second chance with most of the equipment. It is a crushing force. It's a very dangerous environment. Risky business? Yes. In our top story, in Germany, a building with historical archives collapsed. One person was injured and nine people have been reported missing. Workers and visitors to the archive were able to flee in time after the building began making strange sounds before collapsing. German media says the collapse may have been sparked by an underground train line. According to its website, the building was one of the biggest archives of its kind in Germany, containing files that would extend some 26 kilometers if laid out end to end. Among the material were official documents, some dating back more than 1,000 years ago. It also housed half a million photos of life in the historic city. Thirty-nine cases of dynamite, that was. Once a vibrant commercial corridor, now a place consumers avoid. Second Avenue is overwhelmed by dust, barricades, and noise. Since groundbreaking in May 2007, the construction of the Second Avenue subway line has sent local business plunging into deep financial crisis. There have been attempts to provide aid, um, and so far those attempts have failed, um, just given the economy and given the state budget right now. But what about the source of the mess? The Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Um, I feel like they don't really look after us the way they should. I mean, they, they'll just come in, they take what they want to take, they get in our way. Uh, when we have problems in our basement, cracks, anything that we have problems with, they'll come along, they'll look at it and just tell us it's not their fault. We deserve maybe uh, some tax breaks in the neighborhood, that kind of thing, at least. You know, I mean, our, our rents have to go down because of the neighborhood, but our property taxes have gone up, which seems pretty unfair. Yeah, we have meetings every month, but they just basically, they're meetings to appease us, to make, you know, to show that they show up, but they haven't done anything. It's the 100th Monday demonstration and the last before the referendum. Thousands of protesters have turned out for the event, including Peter Grohmann. Preserving what we have instead of launching these massive projects, these billion euro things. Supporters say the subterranean station would free up space for other uses. But opponents say it's an environmental disaster that will uproot old trees and affect the groundwater. And they say that meanwhile the plans are completely out of date.
This is Woodhouse Washlands, a Yorkshire Wildlife Trust nature reserve near Sheffield. And this is Waterhay Woodland Park, a nature reserve run by the Trust for Leeds City Council. HS2 is supported by those calling for jobs and growth. But, according to the Trust, the economic argument is weak. It's perhaps not a direct comparison, but according to HS2's figures, for every pound invested in that project, you'll get almost two pounds back. But for every pound invested in a cycle route like this, you get almost 20 pounds. that have lived here for generations will be forced out of their homes and forced out of their community. And for what? 